Hey guys, it's Riley here and welcome to episode 4 of Let's FIFA 18 and this episode got some pretty pretty decent gameplay I'd say but uh, first off before we jump into all of that um, we are actually playing an offline game kind of similar to what we did in the last episode and that is because I do not have a substitution squad yet um, so I'm just resting my main players basically and at the same time I'm completing some uh, some uh, some of the daily objectives. One of them was to add a contract, which we did to Perisic right there, because I know that's a player I'll be playing with for a long time. I got 500 coins from the pack in that, so it was worth it. And then I jumped in to play an offline match, because playing squad battles was one of the objectives. I went on semi-pro, because there was also an objective for scoring with a Belgian player, two goals, and the only Belgian player I had was my right back, Munier. So I thought, let's play it on an easy difficulty, sort of similar to the last episode, just to try and complete the objectives and get some rewards that way. I didn't really care too much about the squad battle points. Eventually, it would be cool to give it a go and play it on Legendary or something like that, and then play it a week and see what kind of rewards we can get. Um, let me know what you think about that, because I don't think offline gameplay is the most exciting. I just decided to just show you quickly the goals. But let me know if you'd like me to show me playing it, or maybe just play it in the background and then show you the rewards or something. Let me know what you think about that. Anyways, uh, well, we got some points uh, in the squad battle progress, and uh, we will get like a small little reward from this. Uh, you will see that uh, in upcoming episodes. But with that, we scored two goals with a Belgian player. That meant we got a bronze pack with a bunch of items in it. And uh, yeah, not really any good players, anything like that. But uh, you know, you can always use them in squad building challenges and that kind of stuff. And uh, then some contracts and all that kind of stuff. So uh, all of that stuff would be sent to the club. We also got a healing item right there. And uh, apart from that, uh, we also uh, yeah scored a brace in squad battles, giving us a silver contracts pack. Pretty good. And after that, it was in to Division 9 which uh, we made our way into in the last episode. I believe we got three points at this stage, and we're up against a non-rare BPL team. We're playing with our own little Serie A squad, which is starting to look pretty good, I'd say. I think uh, I think the team is pretty good, and it's soon time to build a substitution squad, and uh, it will be coming in upcoming episodes. So uh, uh, into the first match, and uh, that near post low driven shot kind of effective and uh, something I'm sort of testing out I'm trying weird shots uh, you'll see that sometimes just to see what works and what doesn't work in the game and uh, yeah we go up 1-0 and we find Felipe Anderson here with a through ball I do not feel the over the top through balls are that good this year but those along the ground feel a bit more effective in my opinion but look at that drag back three defenders sent the wrong way Completely open in the box, and that was the 2 0 goal. My opponent with a big opportunity here, but uh, yeah, it seemed like the. I think his shot was good enough, but the player just hit it all wrong because he seemed to be aiming for the far post, and it was just a weird way he hit it. But some nice wiggling here with Lorente. I couldn't quite get him off the ball, but. My opponent not find the back of the net. And I didn't create much in the second half because all I was doing was this. The running or cut shift, like trying to see if I could make something happen. This was probably the best I did with it. And and yeah, that angle was not the best to shoot from. And then some skill moves here from Koulibaly of all players. But I hit the post there on the shot. And uh, that was how that match would end. So I got a pretty comfortable two goal lead. And then I just ended up running around skilly and not really making anything happen. Uh, but uh, I was just testing out the Okocha flick, the running Okocha flick, the new one in this year's game. And the thing with it is that it's a little bit tricky to pull off because you need somebody to be rushing in. If it's the AI defending, quite often they'll just lock onto it and you will not beat them. Anyways, I picked up uh, Chesney, cheap goalkeeper, because Bifong, the loan card we got in the beginning, is now out of contracts. So we can no longer play with him. So Chesney is going into the net. Koulibaly is also soon out of contracts and we'll have to find a replacement and here you see me adding a adding uh, instructions to my team because I believe I had them on and then I probably changed formation or something like that by mistake and then I forgot to put them back on or something like that. But I just put my fullbacks to stay back, Jamario to stay back and then my front three to sort of get in behind so they make runs and I, I can play some through balls uh, on through to them. Anyways, we jump into another match in the division and uh, we're up against a La Liga squad this time. Muriel on the top there and now uh, he also had Delafo, so quite a bit of pace there. Nice use of the Jovinko turn from standing there. Looked quite nice. Probably something I'll try out a bit more. And uh, yeah, we use the Cruyff, Cruyff turn here as well. That is probably one of the things I like the most uh, of this year's new skin. It just looks so nice. And we do put it into the back of the net, but it is 
offside and it doesn't count. And Nani a little bit disappointed there. And my opponent would get a free kick. And from that, well, we will pick it up. And Nani will get the ball here. He plays it back to Perisic. Perisic up to Pirat. He lays it off to Nani. And look at this. Pass two defenders. Volley far corner. <laughs> what? A goal, Nani. What a goal. Uh, I was very, very happy when I scored this one because in the previous match, I've been trying to do that, running a Kocha flick and failed so many times. And here we beat two defenders and just fired into the far corner right under the crossbar. A very, very nice goal to bring us up 1-0. But my opponent with a couple of skill moves here as well. Couldn't quite get onto the ball. Muriel quick here. He picks it up. He'll send it into the into the box and again goalkeepers ah, i don't know i felt he should have saved it but again it was a header from close distance and one one it was into the second half we go and i of course was of course trying to get back into the some pass and move play here and trying a shot from a very ambitious angle but as i said earlier it's all about trying out the shots because it seems like a lot of them do tend to go in and here we do get a goal uh using the drag back yet again just just like dragging it back and then you can exit to so many either to the side or backwards and I mentioned this in, in previous episodes as well I really really do like the drag backs and a nice little passing sequence here but the shot blocked off and that was pretty much the last chance of the game so yet another win for us and uh, I was happy with the gameplay we got some skill moves going and uh, we won the match and I think we're sitting on nine points at this stage so one point from promotion and four points from the title and following that game I did go out and did a bit more shopping for my team I picked up a Tunelli he was looking at players if there's anyone with a lot of contracts but there was not and 1500 was the cheapest price so you go into a squad and now sort of with the fault of Koulibaly soon running out of contracts and I also picked up a right back in cast up because Liechtenstein was out of contracts and I felt sometimes Liechtenstein he's not the fastest uh, and sometimes I was getting overrun for example Delafu in the last match yeah, he was causing me some trouble so I, I decided to uh, to switch it up a little bit here and uh, with that I was ready to jump into another game here uh, the last one with Koulibaly in the squad. Fitness also a little bit low on my team, but I thought, you know what, let's play one more. I was, I was very happy after the last match I played, so I, I wanted to keep on playing online and not play offline. So into the final match of the episode we go, and my opponent playing with, the, I believe it's the third kit of Milan, I think it's such a good looking kit. I might be considering picking it up and playing with it. Uh, I think the design is really, really nice. I believe uh, the Adidas third kit is something like with fans who designed them, and then they pick some or something like that. Uh, maybe you guys know exactly the story behind it. It's just some of the stuff I heard, and I think that's pretty cool. Anyways, into the match we go, and some skill moves here using the drag backs, the Gilvinko turn, and uh, we tried like an ambitious shot and it went right into the wall of players but some good pass and move play here uh, we make stuff happen using the drag back to find some space as well and then we play forward to Perisic Perisic with a little back heel and Perotti with the goal I was happy with that goal there was a bit of skill uh, sort of to buy time and find space and then some nice back heel some quick passing and that gave us the lead. Perisic on the ball here. Surprise, surprise. Using the drag back onto Nani. Nani turns around. And uh, in the end, he finds some space. Tries out a long shot. But saved by the goalkeeper here. 29th minute. And uh, this is the only corner I've scored so far this year. But I really like that Cruyff turn. And here... There's a lot of things that didn't go right. For one, I was trying for Rabona cross, and number two, I was trying for a bicycle kick. It ended up being a weird little chip and a weird header, but that Cruyff turn after the ball roll actually looked really nice uh, and completely sent the defender the wrong way, and it gave us the two goal lead. 45th minute, Perisic on the ball, up to Nani, Nani to Perotti, and uh, using the drag back here to beat the player, run into the box, and uh, turn around with the Cruyff turn, lay it off to Jao Mario, into Zielinski, and in the end, it is saved and blocked, and goes wide, and that was half time, we dominated everything, and we also triggered a rate script at half time, and that is also going to be where we end off this episode. We are sitting on 12 points, meaning that we are only one point off the division title, and with that comes some coins, and it may be time to, to pick up some more players uh, in the next episode, maybe looking towards a substitution squad, or maybe it'll be the episode after that. I don't know quite yet. Anyways, this is going to be the end. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later.